In this video, I have compiled a list of the top 5 best gaming PC in the market that are worth buying. So let's get started. Number 5 the Alienware Aurora R10 continues to impress as the best recent gaming PC you can get in the moment. This is due to the expanse of options available to you, with the system being available in many different setups at competitive price points. Our test system utilized a recent 7 CPU and an RTX 2070 Super, however, newer iterations are running all the latest Ampere video cards, RTX 30 series. As for the performance you can expect from the Alienware Aurora R10, we found in our testing that this rig performed at its best when playing titles in both Full HD and 1440p. The mid-tier touring card delivered frame rates far above 60fps in both resolutions in games such as Metro Exodus, Red Dead Redemption II, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider just to name a few. There's no doubting the machine's performance, however, so you can't really go wrong with this gaming PC from a capability perspective. The main downsides are that it can get somewhat loud, almost as if it is a spaceship engine trying to take off, and accessing the components within isn't an easy task thanks to the placement of the suit cage. You can definitely do much worse when buying a pre-built PC though, and that recent NVIDIA combo is a brilliant one that offers exquisite performance even in 2022. <laughs> Number 4 Corsair has overhauled its compact one gaming PCs with the latest parts from Intel, AMD, and Nvidia, and we're absolutely here for it. The Corsair One i300 is the latest version of the compact high-end gaming PC. That's a lot of cutting-edge hardware for what can only be described as a hell of a lot of money. Don't dismiss the memory or storage in this rig either. DDR5 is currently incredibly hard to get a hold of. In 64GB trim like we have here, you know you're not going to come up lacking in any game on this front is welcome. Yes, it's overkill, but it means you won't need to upgrade anytime soon. The Corsair 1A200 and i300 deliver top-of-the-line gaming performance, which is perhaps unsurprisingly considering its credentials up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, while on the Intel side you can have the latest Alder Lake chips, such as the incredible Core i9-12900K. It's wild what you can stuff into such a small chassis nowadays, and have it run reasonably cool and quiet, too. Something that hasn't changed too much since it first appeared on the scene, is the chassis. The idea of this being a beautiful PC is often banded around with expensive builds, but here it's genuinely warranted. This is a machine that you not only want to have in clear view on your desk, but it won't take up much room, or make too much noise if you do. Honestly, this thing is much smaller than you might think, measuring half as deep as most mid-tower systems. The Corsair 1 achieves this by using two compact liquid coolers, one for the CPU and one for the GPU. You'll have to adjust your expectations for CPU temperatures perhaps a little above your comfort zone during intense operations, but there is nothing these chips aren't built to handle day in, day out. When you're dealing with high-end kit, temperatures can get toasty. Very toasty. The Core i9-12900K in this build is a power-hungry chip, drawing up to 241 watts, and it can run hot when stressed even in much bigger systems with triple fan coolers. Here, I witnessed the CPU temps touch 100 degrees Celsius a couple of times in testing, resulting in the chip throttling back, although only briefly even when pushed hard. This is still an incredibly powerful CPU too, so even allowing for this brief throttling, it's still one of the fastest machines I've ever used, and tops plenty of the benchmark tables. Overall, the Corsair 1 ably achieves what it sets out to do. It's a compact gaming PC that showcases the latest technology in impressively smart, and dare I say, beautiful case. It's a machine that many gamers would love to own, but few can afford. But for those that can, it's a treat. Number 3
HP Omen offers a wide range of customization options with its Omen 25L, 30L, 40L, and now 45L systems, allowing you to take your pick of AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA components CPU and GPU options. You can also take the configuration to the memory and storage requirements, too, allowing you to really tailor your system. HP Omen rigs are on the more restrained side of PC gaming, so you won't find an over-elaborate liquid cooling system or a massive suite of spectacular RGB lighting. Tall, surprisingly thin towers still contain some of the best hardware around today. Omen systems are appropriately named ENDS black blocks of computing power. If you value smooth lines and compact design over the flash and spectacle of RGB, you'll appreciate the dark, slightly brooding aesthetic of the HP lineup. We've looked at machines with last-gen processors in them, and that can be a good way to save a little cash because you can still get the very latest NVIDIA GPUs inside them. You can also get last-gen GPUs, but we'd advise you to steer clear of either the RX 5500 or RTX 2080 Super builds, those are still relatively expensive and the graphics hardware will date far quicker than anything else in the system. HP has recently updated its lines to offer more options from Intel's Alder Lake Up, although it's worth noting that it is sticking with DDR4 on the memory front due to the high price of DDR5 right now. This may change down the line, but that naturally has us leaning towards its mid-range and budget offerings, simply because they make more sense from a value-for-money perspective. We haven't specifically reviewed the latest range of gaming systems from HP, but we've been testing its gaming PC since the Obelisk range, and we've always appreciated its no unnecessary frills approach to system building and the value proposition of its rigs. Number 2 The Acer Predator Orion 7000 is our number one pick for the best gaming PC that you can buy for its thoughtful design, C5.0 compatibility and powerful hardware that's sure to be future-approved for many years to come. In our testing, we found that there was nothing we could throw at this machine that it couldn't handle, including frame rates in the 100 plus FPS range and a whole suite of demanding titles in 4K, and even higher in the likes of 1440p. This gaming PC has been thoughtfully re-engineered to replace the old plastic panels of the previous model, instead opting for an all-glass and metal finish. Perhaps most important with the Acer Predator Orion 7000 is how its design philosophy mimics that of a traditional home-built PC without any proprietary manufactured pieces inhibiting tinkering, meaning it's easy to upgrade in the future. The bump up to DDR5 RAM is a surefire noticeable one if you're coming from a machine running a similar frequency DDR4. We had dual channel 4000 MHz kit inside our machine and found the difference to be light and day made especially snappy by the lightning-fast, though admittedly hot, Intel Core i9-12900K. Whether you want lengthy gaming sessions or lightning-fast response times in your productivity tasks, the Acer Predator Orion 7000 is easily the most feature-rich, and most capable, gaming PC on the market right now. By minimizing the bloatware, and being far more consumer-friendly than some other gaming PCs you can get your hands on, we can recommend this model to anyone wanting the best of the best in 2022. Number 1 The Alienware Aurora R13 is the latest in the long-standing line of Dell's gamer-centric machines. It also happens to be the best gaming PC of the lot, too. With support for C5.0 and DDR5 RAM, Combined with the prowess of both the RTX 30 series and RX 6000 line, the R13 is purpose-built for tomorrow's games with no compromises. In our testing, we found that the Alienware Aurora R13 made short work of our benchmarking tools and the games that we used to stress test higher-end models. Our review unit came powered by the Intel Core i9, 12900K F CPU, with 64GB DDR5 RAM and an RTX 3080, so naturally 4K 60 and above was absolutely no problem here. Perhaps the greatest strength of the Alienware Aurora R13 is in its customization options though, and while it is decidedly difficult to open up and work on the insides yourself, 
the manufacturer does give you specific hardware options when purchasing. This means that the R13 line can be as affordable, or as premium, as to suit your needs. Almost everything can be swapped out from graphics cards to the amount of available storage, in RAM 2. Something that doesn't change regardless of configuration is the aesthetics of the machine. For the first time since its inception, the Alienware Aurora R13 features a vast overhaul to the visual language, with a transparent panel revealing the impressive lighting and hardware at the helm. Now visible is a small AIO water cooler, complete with a 120mm radiator, as well as your GPU and RAM sticks. It's a touch of transparency that's greatly appreciated in our opinion. The Alienware Aurora R13's main drawback, though, is in how that little water cooler has to work pretty hard to keep those color temperatures down. Thanks for watching guys, that's all for now I hope you guys liked this video, if this video is helpful to you, please make sure to like comment and subscribe, hope to see you guys in the next video.